Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. Edmonton is getting dumped with a whole bunch of snow. I have to go shovel all of this, take a look. Can't even see my sidewalk or even my steps. And it's still coming down. It's minus 18 right now. It's cold. But I gotta get it done. Thank God I have today off. So there we go. Got it all done. Wow, it's like too cold to go out there and film. So minus 18. My face is all red, out of breath. But I got it all done, thank God. I think it's time for a, a, a coffee, just to warm up. That was brutal. Wow. So just an update on my vehicle. I did get the uh, bumper uh, replaced on my vehicle. And remember, it was just the lower part of it. Um, but it took insurance, I don't know, like a month to decide to say go ahead and fix it um, and then I had to wait till after Christmas to book it in because of the holidays and all that kind of stuff Herbers was not open um, oh and they were very busy so they couldn't get me in um, but I got it all done and uh, they did a really good job um, but yeah it just insurance just took too long to say go ahead and fix it but so Herbers needed my car for two days while they were waiting for parts to come in. Uh, so I had a rental car for I don't know, a day and a half, roughly. But um, yeah, they did a really good job. Thanks, Herbers. So one thing I gotta say though, um, like Herbers did a great job on my car regarding the repair, okay? But there were other issues that I wasn't happy about. When I went to go pick up my vehicle, I noticed there was a, I don't know, maybe a half a foot long scratch on my car that wasn't there before. And I had to point it out to them. They uh, checked the video cameras uh, to see what had happened. And then they came back out and told me that they'll try and fix it for me. They were able to fix it for me and I was very happy. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what happened there. It looked like somebody, you know, walked by my car and uh, had a zipper maybe sticking out and uh, rubbed against it. That's what it looked like to me anyways. Um, but luckily enough, the scratch was only in the clear coat. So they were able to uh, light sand it and uh, high buff it for me. And then the other issue is, is that they wash your car for you. They do a clean on the inside and outside of your vehicle. When I opened up my door to take a look inside my vehicle, I noticed whatever solution or spray that they're using to wipe leather seats down left a really nasty white residue powder all over my seats. And I had to go back in and say, hey, can you guys re-wipe my seats? Because um, there's the like white, white powder all over it. Came back out, had a look. And uh, yeah, so they... Uh, Rewipe down my seats for me. So, you know, my question is like, I didn't bring my car there to have you guys clean it. I brought my car there to have you guys repair my bumper. If a company doesn't know how to wash a car, then maybe they shouldn't offer that because I didn't take my car there to get detailed or washed. I appreciate that they do that. But they didn't do a very good job, therefore they probably shouldn't be doing that. Even after they re-wiped down my seats, some of it was still there and I had to do it all over again myself. That shouldn't happen. But overall, Herbers did a great job. Would I use them again? Sure, maybe if I didn't have a brand new car I would take it there. So one thing you know I don't get is that 
These companies, once they have your car there, they really don't care about it when it sits there overnight waiting for parts. They had vehicles parked really close to mine uh, in the waiting bay, I guess you would call it. Uh, and staff members were walk, trying to squeeze by that little gap that was left there to get you know, to where they need to go, uh, brushing up and down the car all day. Um, that's not pretty cool, right? You would think that, or hope, that uh, you know, your car will be well taken care of while it's there, right? Yeah, it wasn't. It just seems that every time I take my car somewhere, either for a service or to get something repaired on it, uh, you know, uh, things happen to it from a staff member either climbing into it, kicking something, uh, or leaving my door open while they're working on another vehicle and getting white dust everywhere, which has happened to me before in my other car. But don't get me wrong, you know, Herbis did do a good job. They actually worked on my wife's car about uh, two years ago. And they did a fantastic job. So overall, they do a good job. There's just some things that I think they shouldn't be doing if they're not good at it. That's my thoughts. I didn't ask them, hey, after you guys done the repair, would you mind washing my car for me? Would you mind wiping down my seats for me? My car is brand new. It doesn't need that because I do that myself anyways. I like to keep my stuff as clean as possible and I look after my stuff. I don't want someone doing a rush uh, wipe on my seats and a, a horrible wash on my car because they're in a big time hurry because they got other vehicles they got to take care of. No, I'll wash my own car. I don't need you guys to wash my car for me. But anyways, like I said, they took care of all the issues that I had with them. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm happy. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, and if you're driving out there, be safe. I bet you the roads are terrible. So uh, be safe out there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.